Project Light Positive is celebrating 30 years in Orangeburg. The Learning Center was opened in 1992 by Councilwoman Liz Kitt. We know the Lord had to be a part of it. And doing all of this, we just obeyed him because we knew the children needed the help. So we just went on and did what he wanted us to do. Kit says over the years, the center built a reputation for teaching youth lessons in and out of the classroom, including field trips to the Penn Center and other sites in different states. Akeem Bonaparte was one of the first students at the center three decades ago. We talk about character building now. We started with character building in 92 when we first started with Project Life Positive because it gave us that structure that we needed that we didn't have in the classroom. It's now come full circle for Bonaparte, who is now an academic advisor for athletics at Claflin University. I wanted to give back to students. I want to make sure that students are going to grow. I believe that your education comes before everything else. He says teachers have played a major role in this growth. Kathy Bryant and Beverly Pendarvis, two educators at Project Life, say the work continues. We would like to see this building packed to, to the, the rim, capacity. yeah, to the capacity. And whereas Ms. Kitt would actually have a waiting list of kids wanting to get in. Um, the more that come, the more we can help. For Street Squad Orangeburg, Nigel Hood, News 19 WLTX.